my name is Marco and welcome to The Model Gene. Today I'll be answering the question, what is a fashion editorial? If you pick up a copy of Vogue or Harper's Bazaar and start flipping through the pages, you'll find advertising campaigns, perhaps a few interviews, but the most beautiful images in the magazine will be the editorials. Most simply put, a fashion editorial is a story told using clothing and photography as the language. If we compare fashion editorials to a traditional newspaper, they are the opinion pieces. Without the constraints of a client trying to sell something, editorials give photographers the room to push the boundaries of their creativity. I was a teenager in the early 2000s, so for me it was the editorial work of Stephen Meisel and Tim Walker that are responsible for planting that seed of intrigue that inevitably brought me away from architecture and into fashion. You may think that fashion magazines make money by selling actual copies, but the bulk of their profits actually come from advertising revenue generated by brands paying to include their campaigns in each issue. When a brand like Chanel is paying Vogue to include their ads, they are also expecting the magazine to include their products in the editorials, and most importantly, on the covers. When I worked at the fashion PR firm KCD Paris, the goal was not simply to get Balma, Alexander McQueen, and their other brands in the editorials. It came down to only allowing certain stylists and certain magazines to shoot the clothes to make sure that the exclusive and prestigious luxury identity was intact. For each issue, there is typically what we call a main fashion story and then several other editorials. The main fashion story can be likened to the thesis of that issue in that it defines what the magazine is trying to communicate at that moment. Sometimes the cover of the magazine is from that main fashion story, but with the increase of celebrities on the covers, that isn't always the case. Since editorials are not advertisements, the vast majority of editorials do not pay the model. This is definitely one area that new models have the biggest trouble understanding, and I get it. Some of the bigger publications, like Condé Nast and Hearst, have a small editorial fee that they pay the models, but most often, editorials will just cover the model's expenses, like flights and accommodation. We are far gone from the days where magazines had massive budgets for editorials, like the infamous Great Fur Caravan, shot by Richard Avedon for Vogue's October 1966 issue, which was rumored to have cost over a million dollars. The rise of digital media has depleted print sales, so magazines are much tighter with their purse strings. I hope in the future that more publications will follow suit and include an editorial fee, but even though editorials give the model little or no pay, they are incredibly important for a model's career. In order to sustain a career long term, the portfolio of a model needs the power of highly impactful editorial images to balance the more safe and commercial advertising work. Campaigns pay well, but editorials are the life force that keeps a career going, keeping the model in the public eye and solidifying working relationships with the creative teams that will want to book the model on their next advertising project. To relate editorials to another industry, this is like pop stars or actors doing the press circuit of morning radio and late night talk shows in order to promote their work. They are not paid for this press, but it is essential to their success. To put it simply, if you are not doing editorials, you are not going to continue booking advertising jobs. If you have any questions about editorials, please let me know in the comments and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you.